Hey guys, it's Joey. Happy Halloween, uh, might I add, because Halloween is tomorrow. So I decide maybe I'm going to talk about Halloween, why not? My Halloween past, present, and future. I'm going to dickens it. So as a kid, I wasn't that into Halloween. I liked candy, but I wasn't a big fan of candy. I wasn't a big fan of going outside. I liked staying inside and watching cartoons, playing video games, playing with my toys. So Halloween always felt like a little bit of a chore. I mean, I like candy, I like hanging out with my friends, and I like walking around. Sure, that's fun. But Halloween, going, having to socialize with strangers, to ask them for candy, which you probably, that's the only time you ever see these people. It just never resonated with me. It still doesn't. I, I just never cared for Halloween. And I know a lot of people feel that way. And a lot of people feel completely opposite. I have friends that love Halloween. They love what it's about. They love the creepiness. And I'm all for the creepiness, but I do that year round. I'm all about the creepiness year round. I watch every horror movie or weird freaking sci-fi or whatever all year round. I don't need Halloween to do that. So as a kid, I'd go trick-or-treating, but I, I was never, re I wasn't even that big on candy. I was more of an ice cream cake guy. If you see any pictures of me as a kid, you'll, you'll be able to tell. I was a chubby, 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 chubby little guy. I still am kind of chubby because I'm still into cake and ice cream and pizza. But you can't get cake and ice cream and pizza from a neighbor's house unless they were giving away pizza, which I wish I'd I'd go trick-or-treating tomorrow if I could. So jumping to Halloween present, when you're 23, there's not much else you could do on Halloween except dress up, maybe ironically, maybe you're totally for it, but you dress up and you go to drink. If you are if you do drink, you go do some sort of thing. I, I drink on Halloween, I probably, the lot, since I've been able to drink publicly and legally, I've been going places and drinking on Halloween. That's what you do, especially in your 20s. You already drink all the time anyway. You don't really need another excuse to obtain and drink alcohol. So you see, the, the trick-or-treat window is very short. It's about 10 years, but you have a whole other, maybe other 60 years going on if you're lucky, another 60 years after that whole trick-or-treat era ends. So what are you supposed to do on Halloween? It's a holiday that seemingly is for kids, but for the most part, that's a very small portion of your life. So what do you do on Halloween for the rest of your life? You, you can't go trick or treating. You'll probably eat candy that you bought, but you're gonna drink. You're gonna have a Halloween party and you're gonna drink until you forget that you're wearing a costume. And I, I don't mean that you're gonna lose the costume. I mean, you're gonna forget that you're Joey. Like if I'm wearing a ghost costume, I'm gonna be a ghost. I'm gonna be so drunk that I'm, I think I'm a ghost and I'm gonna just sit in people's basements and move things and turn on radios for people that still have radios. I'm gonna turn them on, freak them out a little bit, flick a light switch. I'll end up on TV. In life, I probably couldn't end up on TV, but as a drunk ghost, I might be able to end up on television. I don't know what just happened there with that. I kind of got carried away. That usually happens. But yeah, in your 20s and probably so forth and on to your death, uh, Halloween is about alcohol. And I don't know Chris, uh, Halloween's future. I don't know what that looks like. That probably is also filled with alcohol and maybe sadness and ghosts. That's what Halloween is for adults. It's not, it's candy, but it's also liquid candy. Uh, candy flavored drinks, candy flavored vodkas, and or whiskeys. So what the point of this video is basically there is no point. Uh, I'm just talking about the subject of Halloween and what it means to me and what it means to a lot of people in 2014 that are in their 20s and beyond. I do wish you a happy Halloween. Is that is that what you wish? You wish people happy Halloween? This video sort of got away from me. I don't know. I don't know what I wanted to talk about initially. I was just gonna sort of make jokes, but it came it came weirdly serious about Halloween. I, I didn't think I was so serious about Halloween, but you know what Halloween signifies? It signifies the end of the the big portion of the year. Now we're on the final, the last leg, the final stretch. It's okay though, because this is my favorite time of year. November and December, best months. November, I think, is my favorite month of the year because it's that month in between all the garbage that was the rest of the year and Christmas. December is Christmas. All of December is Christmas. Actually, the last week of November and all of December is Christmas, except the week after Christmas. But that's also New Year's week, so that's sort of a party week on its own. So you're basically partying for a month and a half straight in November, which I like. I'm a party guy. I don't know if you can tell this, but I like social gatherings like that where you drink and you eat and you be merry because that's what it's all about you be merry now halloween doesn't do any of that and it's before all that it sort of signifies the beginning of what will be that in a couple weeks that maybe that's why i haven't been into halloween because i'm just too focused on the party season at the end of the year 
that might be exactly what it is. I was also a kid that liked getting presents on Christmas, so it gets too close to Christmas in this last the last three months, so I, I don't want to think about Halloween. I'm just thinking about Christmas already, as are a lot of other people. <laughs> so I don't know what this video was, but thanks for watching. If you did watch it, uh, I'm going to do more videos like this, hopefully more jokes and a lot funnier or more topical and interesting than talking about what the hell Halloween is in 2014 to a 20-something year old and beyond. All right, guys, I'll, I'll see you soon. I'm going to I'm going to think about some stuff.